Right. All right, thank you very much, Sarah. By now, you're very familiar with the Alabama Accountability Act. Now, that's where you can transfer your student living in your house from a, quote, failing school to a better performing school and receive a tax credit to do so. But did you know you can get a tax credit without having a student living in your home. Stuart Welch of the Welch Group joins us on Monday, Tuesday to explain this. Okay, you got my attention. How do you, how do you get this done? Well, I think the first thing is, is it, here's the question for every Alabama taxpayer. If, if, if you could help a low-income child who mm -hmm. wants a better education get out of a failing public school right. into a non-failing public school or a qualified private school, and it didn't cost you a cent, would you do it? Absolutely. I think most of us would, yeah. They would. And so what they've done, Alabama's passed this law, the uh, Alabama Accountability Act, which allows you to get a tax credit. That's not like, it's not like a tax deduction. You get a dollar for dollar credit right. by making a uh, gift, a donation to a scholarship uh, organization. Okay. And so, uh, so that's, that's so, the problem. So, so tell, talk to us about this process. So how do I go about, what's step one here? Well, the first thing I like to do is uh, there's a great website, alabamakids.net, okay. alabamakids.net, and they'll give net. you all the details. But you, what you're, let me give you an example. Okay. Let's say that your Alabama taxes were going to be $2,000. Okay. What you do is you get to direct 1,000 of that to this scholarship program, and instead of sending 2,000 to the state of Alabama, you'll send 1,000. So you're still you're still spending 2000 but you're directing, you're redirecting part of your taxes to this scholarship program. Hmm. And there, it's really about a three-step process. So okay. you go on the Alabama website, you reserve your tax credit, uh, and then you make a donation to a qualified organization, okay. and then you want to contact your HR department and have your Alabama withholdings lowered so that you start getting the effect of that tax credit right away. And what's the maximum donation you can make? The maximum donation you can make is ha it's up to half of your uh, Alabama income taxes. Uh, for individuals, it's a limit of $7,500. If you're a corporation, there's no limit on that. Oh. And, and what I'd like, to, I'd like to close with that the future of Alabama is in large part dependent upon the education of our children. Sure. So here's yeah. an opportunity for all of us Alabama taxpayers to pitch in and raise the education level of, of, of our children. Alabama set aside $25 million for this program every year. So what we need to do is go out and make sure as taxpayers that we claim that money mm -hmm. and, uh, and use it for these kids that want to get a better education. And help them out. Now, what, in terms of the federal tax of the IRS, so wh how, will, how will this affect that? In terms of well, you, uh, it, it, it's going to feel like a wash. You're going to get a federal tax deduction for the contribution you make to the organization. Hmm. But you're, uh, when you, uh, you, you get a deduction of the Alabama taxes against the Fed, and that's going to be half as much. So those 10 will, will tend to wash each other out. Okay. However, if you pay alternative minimum tax, which some people do, you actually can end up with dollar on, on dollar benefit from this program. Wow. That's great information. A lot of people did not know about that. No, they, they didn't. Thank you. Stuart Welch with the Welch Group. All right, coming up in Fox 6 Family Health,